Okay, so today I decided that we would be teaching Jamie how to drive our John Deere X730 lawnmower. And this is her first baby step into driving, a, driving an actual tractor because I figured that we better teach her how to drive a smaller vehicle with a hydrostatic transmission rather than driving a tractor with an actual clutch. So I'm going to teach her how to drive the mower and hopefully I don't have to mow my lawn anymore. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you got to do is start it up. Go ahead and start it and we'll shut it right back off again. But at first, now what you're going to want to do is press in the brake. This is the brake up here. Press in on it and then push down on the parking brake. So that takes it out of the lock position. Release it and it should come back. There you go. Now the mower is completely free on its own. So this is essentially your accelerator and this is your reverse. Yes. And this is your brake. So this handle over here controls the engine speed and it controls how fast you'll go. So you rev that up a little bit. Now push in the forward button. This one? Yep. And move it a little bit. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Keep coming. Come over here. Park it right here. Actually, right in the grass. Right there. All right, put the brake on. There you go. Now push, put on the parking brake. Lift it up. You have to push down a little bit further. There you go, now let go. You can control. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. So, now what you're going to want to do is typically you want to have the engine at half speed, but I found that sometimes it can die if you don't, so I like to keep it up a little bit higher. So you have your handlebars over here, it's the front one, yep. This first handle controls the height of your mower, so when you're like going across gravel, or you want to pick it up when you're going over some rocks or something, you want to pull back on that. So go ahead and push it forward. There you go. So you just dropped it down. Now what we're going to want to do is, we won't cover the lights or anything, but you see this button right here? Yeah. It's a pull tab. So if you pull out on it, if you pull out on it, it'll start the mower. Go ahead, pull out on it. Oh, okay, I know what we're doing wrong. You can't have the parking brake on. So take the parking brake off. Push down on the brake. Then push down on the... There you go. Slowly release it. Okay, now pull out on that tab. See, it almost killed it there, because we didn't put it up close to full speed. So what you're going to want to do is speed up the accelerator all the way. Just all the way up. Drop the mower down. Other way. Turn the wheels out that way. Push forward. What you're going to want to do is put this right along the edge of the grass that has been mowed. Okay? So right along here. Good. Shut it off. Push in. Slow the engine down. Put it in park.
Okay, then shut it off the engine. Your cutting width is about right here, right on the edge of this side, over to right about here. Can you go do it over there so it's bigger? Yeah, you can go do it over there. Um, once you will start, we'll put you in right here, and then um, you can drive over and spin around and then go down the other side. You can do this part. You always want to keep your left side over, like, around these objects. Like, when you do them, you want to back and forth, like, just get as close to them as you can because you can't get very close with the side that, oh. that pushes it out. So if you want to get close to something, you always have to put it on your left side. The mower will always shut off when you back up. So if you want to back up and not have the mower shut off on you, you'll have to lift up on this tab when it's already lifted up. And that you have to lift up on it and then start pushing the back pedal. I know, I know you're pretty quick at picking up on stuff, so you can also just push in this button over here. And then you can start backing up if you just hold it in. And it won't shut off the mower. Because it gets to kind of be a pain in the butt if you have to keep shutting off and starting the starting it so just make sure that don't be afraid to like jerk this thing around so and this button here if you get stuck and your wheels stop moving like or if your wheels keep moving but you, the more stops pushing on that button it'll lock both back wheels together you know you'll get more traction I have to use that all the time so What's that? No, all you have to do is pull back on it. Oh. Yeah, you kind of have to hold it because there's a little discrepancy there. Okay. Right? Yep. Then move over, move over there. All right, speed it up. Yeah. Yep. You usually want to start the more before you drop it down, but it really doesn't matter. So go ahead and pull it out. There you go. There you go. Speed up the engine all the way. There you go. do is pick up the mower so no don't hit the brake pull up on the mower pull back no yep pull back on it now spin around <laughs> drop it down yep drop it down other way. All right, I'll go ahead. quick learner. I only told her how to turn and pick up the mower once and she's already going off on her own. 
All right, come forward. Good. Now start in right there. Lift the mower up. Right there. Not too shabby if I say so myself. They grow up so fast. <laughs> Don't you wait, boys. We'll make a country girl out of her yet. That's about it for this video, guys. She's off on her own, mowing the lawn now. And it's all about practice makes perfect with mowing your yard. She only ever had to mow her yard with a push mower because her dad uh, didn't really have all that much grass. Uh, they had actually a pretty big yard for where they live, but uh, they only ever had push mowers. So uh, she never drove a lawn, riding lawnmower until this day. So hopefully now, after she gets used to the lawnmower, we'll throw her in a tractor sometime here and teach her how to drive an actual tractor. So uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. And be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.